Hey, what's up? Josh Rhodes here, GroovyMarketing.biz, SalesFunnelMadness.com, in the heart of London at Piccadilly Circus. Man, this there's a there's a it's a busy place here. I'm just uh, finishing up a trip uh, with my family to this great city. Uh, we've done everything, and the thing that got us here was sales funnels. At the end of the day, being able to create multiple streams of revenue. Uh, online using sales funnels that work. I'm a ClickFunnels user. I'll mention that in my description below this video. We've got a great street performer behind us too. There's even a guy that, if you can see him in the gold, he's dressed up like Charlie Chaplin. He kind of stands still. He's one of those weird statue guys. But anyway, <laughs> they kind of freak me out. So that's why I'm on the opposite side of the, the circle. I'll show you around here. Um, really cool view. It's a little like miniature, I don't know, I wouldn't say miniature Times Square, but it's definitely charming. It's, uh, old, uh, obviously powerfully old uh, landmarks here in London. And I feel like literally I've seen all of them uh, in the two weeks that I've been here with my family. Um, but I wanted to do this video and I'm about to head over to Trafalgar Square too. Even busier, even cooler, a lot of dynamic stuff going on. Sales funnels are everywhere. and if you're running a business of any kind, you have a sales funnel, you just may not call it that, or you may not know how to make it better, or you may not even know how to identify what your current sales funnel is, but they're everywhere. I mean, the guy on the guitar behind me over there, over my shoulder, he has a sales funnel. The taxis, the Uber drivers uh, that are driving on the, uh, the road behind me, they have sales funnels. The question of the day is, um, have you set a goal and are you using A, the correct sales funnel to explode your business so that you can have time freedom? Uh, and B, are you properly deploying that and bringing that sales funnel to life? So that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, I've got a few businesses myself. One of them is that I'm an affiliate marketer. So I sell other people's products online using SEO and paid traffic. Um, and I get a commission at no extra cost to the consumer whenever I sell someone else's product using blogs, email marketing, Facebook ads, SEO, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Another um, another business that I have is a coaching and training business where I teach professionals in different industries and verticals how to generate their own leads: um, mortgage brokers, insurance agents, real estate agents, uh, you name it. Uh, I've got another business where I help local business owners generate their own leads, like a done-for-you service. Uh, it, whether you're a garage door repair man or a, um, a tow truck driver, um, I help folks like that grow their business on a local level using internet marketing. And uh, I wanted to talk to you just about your sales funnel, maybe some common questions that I get while I'm here in London. and. Uh, Stay tuned, I'm gonna unpack a few little golden nuggets, especially if you're just now getting into the sales funnel world. Um, I use a tool called ClickFunnels, it's fantastic. Uh, if you don't use ClickFunnels, you can start a 14 day trial with my affiliate link uh, around this video somewhere, depending on where you're watching it. Um, and I provide a ton of bonuses too, bonus training, bonus access to me, get to ask me questions whenever you want to etc. Again, no extra charge to you. I get a commission if you sign up for ClickFunnels. And that's my little sales pitch. Other than that, I want the rest of this video just to be value-based and help you unclog the drain or uh, leverage more to get more out of your sales funnel. So stay tuned. So I want to answer a few questions that I get, common questions about sales funnels while I sit here in Trafalgar Square. I also want to show you a couple of examples that I've found just kind of out in real physical life of uh, the things I'm about to discuss. First of all, I get a question a lot, uh, which is, you know, how do I start? Where do I start? What, what, how, do I get a, how do I get a sales funnel up and running? And I never like to tell someone a tactical thing to do. Um, 
as a starting point. Rather, I, I, I want to give you a framework, um, kind of like boundaries or guardrails to operate inside of um, as you're thinking, designing, and preparing your sales funnel for deployment to do business online or offline. It, it, the framework I'm about to describe is actually very simple and works um, wherever you want it to. Okay, so it's simple as A, B, C. If you can remember A, B, C, you can run a successful sales funnel. And A, B, C, of course, stands for a few things. A stands for attract traffic. I'm about to show you a great example of one kind of traffic or impressions or getting eyeballs that matter. Uh, looking at you and your offer, your brand, etc. Because if you can't get attention, um, you can't get anything. It starts with attracting traffic, attracting attention, right? B stands for building a list. So one of the greatest assets that you can build as you're attracting traffic is to make sure you're capturing leads, names, email addresses, phone numbers, physical addresses, and that keeps you from one hit wonders. Uh, building a list is an asset, it's a follow-up mechanism, it's something that you can always go back to to create more commerce, trade, sales, etc. Uh, one, two, two ways to grow a business, right? Get more customers and then also get more money out of your current customers. And building your list helps you do that. And then C stands for convert sales. Obviously that sounds uh, simple, but sales conversion is the thing that most people, especially artists and people who are really, at least in my coaching experience with other entrepreneurs, um, artists and brand, pe people who are really high on brand um, are afraid to make a call to action. You've gotta convert sales. And, there are different conversion assets like email marketing, webinars, live seminars, one-on-one -on -one, uh, sales calls, you name it, that will, at the end of the day, be the legitimizer, the validation of your sales funnel. That means you're getting credit cards, you're getting checks, you're getting cash, whatever currency it is that you're charging for your services or your product, um, you've got to be able to convert sales. So ABC is the way to go. Now, where most people get stuck though is attracting traffic. And that's what I want to show you an example of. There are really two kinds of traffic. There's, well, it's not, not two kinds, but for the, for the simplicity purposes, um, there's traffic that you pay for and there's traffic that you don't pay for. And sometimes there are what I call rivers that are already running streams of traffic that you didn't create nor do you have to create. Um, in the States I live near the Mississippi River, uh, not near it but in proximity to it, and I think about uh, the Mississippi River, Tennessee River, whatever river you can think of that has hydroelectric dams. Those rivers are already running and some engineer said, hey, let's not go build a new river, let's not go build a new body of water, let's plop our hydroelectric dams right down in the middle of this river that's already flowing with power and let's work smarter and not harder. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to show you an example of that in an offline sales funnel that I've found to be fascinating. Okay, so I'm standing right outside the National Gallery here, high traffic zone. Um, down behind me here, that street, if you keep going is Buckingham Palace and you can eventually bump into Whitehall, the, the government buildings, Westminster, you name it. Um, the London Eye, you can see just over my shoulder here, right there, uh, beyond Trafalgar Square. There's a lot of people already walking through Trafalgar Square. This is what I would call a river. And if you can find a river um, where there's a lot of pass-through traffic, like lunchtime, like you can see right here, just hundreds of people at any given time. And I've been here four or five times over the last two weeks as a tourist. Just tourist traffic alone, plus uh, this, the people who work up and down these streets. I mean, there are, this is the center point for about six or seven streets 
currently. Well, right over my shoulder here, you can see a street performer. He's a chalk artist. And on down, there's some weird stuff too, like zoom in. Well, that's kind of annoying. Like folks dressed up like, I can't zoom. Anyway, there's like a, a levitating Yoda. There's like three of them. Anyway, weird stuff. But these street artists, if you're gonna be a street artist, you gotta find the rivers. And the rivers are the place where the traffic already is that you don't have to manufacture, create, or pay for. Um, you just plop that hydroelectric dam like I was talking about straight down into the river and you wait on people to walk by and, and give you money for your time and your, and your energy. And uh, I've, I've walked by a lot of street artists here in London and I'm shocked at how much money they have in their hats and in their guitar cases. Um, I'm not endorsing, I don't want to be a street artist. You may want to be, I don't know. I'm not saying it's, a, it's the thing to do. My point is, this is a great example. So how do I apply this to online uh, or other contexts? Well, a great example would be SEO. I'm not telling you that you have to do SEO, search engine optimization, um, but it's a great example. So for example, um, if you are uh, selling organic lemonade, I don't know. I wonder how many people, maybe you're, maybe you're an online business for organic lemonade powder. And um, maybe there's 4,000 people a month searching on Google for organic lemonade powder. So why wouldn't you build a website that is optimized towards the keyword of organic lemonade powder? There's a river and you can get inside of it and you don't have to pay for it. There's a little bit of start that goes into it, but nothing crazy. And it's an inexpensive way to kind of plop your business right in the middle of a river and have traffic and you'll be attracting traffic, attracting attention and getting the impressions that you need to run your business. That's a great example of what these artists are doing up and down the walkway during lunchtime at Trafalgar Square in front of the uh, National Gallery. See, that guy's weird. Gosh, they're so weird. They're kind of scary too. Anyway, that's, that's a great example of attracting traffic. Another way to get attention, attract traffic, is to skill up and pay for it. Facebook ads is the gold rush of our day. Um, Google ads, YouTube ads, advertising, you name it. Um, sometimes you have to enter a vertical and if you want to scale, and that is get in front of more traffic than you can get in front of with the organic opportunities in front of you, you have to pay for attention. You have to pay for traffic. And so the other way to bring your sales funnel to life is to pay for it. Now, you can't just go drop a quarter into the Facebook coin slot and expect to make a million dollars. You gotta know how to use Facebook ads. So you've gotta acquire a skill. Get a coach, take a course, do something so that you can get the skills necessary to attract traffic. In one of my businesses, we went from zero to $1 million in nine months. And the way we did that was on the back of Facebook advertising because Facebook advertising allowed us to scale when we couldn't just referral network our way or search engine optimization our way to success. Okay, skill up, learn a skill like Facebook ads, YouTube ads, something. Look at this dude. Is that creepy or what? Gosh. That is one skill you will not find me working on. Look, she's letting me. Man, that's a nightmare. That is one of my nightmares right there. Another question I get a lot is, you know, Josh, what kind of list do I need to build? Does email still work? Um, email, is email still king? The answer to that question is yes. Um, however, there are other kinds of lists that you need to be aware of and you don't need to box yourself in. You need phone numbers. You need to be SMS marketing. You need um, 
to really not underestimate Facebook Messenger bots. It's coming around strongly. Um, I'm using a, 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 an application right now called ManyChat, M-A-N-Y, chat.com. Um, but more than anything, I'm using email marketing to build my list. Now, how do I just get emails? How do I get phone numbers? How do I get names and addresses? Well, I use ClickFunnels to build all of my capture pages, all of my opt-in pages, all of my opt-in funnels, all of the funnels that lead to upsells, that lead to a deeper sales funnel conversion experience. And um, there's a lot of different technologies out there. Honestly, at the end of the day, technology is benign. You have to bring it to life. You have to position it correctly. But when it comes to like elasticity and growing a business and having a tool that you don't have to like get rid of and upgrade to another one, and you know maybe you started with lead pages, but now you need more functionality, or you started with Shopify, or you started with Squarespace, or you started with Instapage, or other website builders, and now you need like upsells and bump orders and all these things. ClickFunnels is just, it's better to start with. Um, it's, it's in the same realm economically as far as affordability goes. It's a little bit more pricey when you start, but as you grow, it's priceless. Especially um, if you already have revenue and you're not trying to prove a concept, you know you already have a business, then get ClickFunnels. And what I do is I just simply like I said with my earlier analogy of the <laughs> hydroelectric dams, I use opt-in pages as hydroelectric dams and I just drop them in the middle of rivers that are already running and I also drive all of my paid traffic to conversion rate optimized pages. Pages that are built as conversion machines that only ask, only have a call to action for um, name, email address, phone number. They're not about a, you know, your company history. They're not asking you, um, they're not telling you about your LinkedIn, my LinkedIn profile, anything like that. They're making an incredible offer in exchange for your contact information. So I use ClickFunnels. I've built some awesome landing pages. I've built some awesome landing pages for clients. If you are listening to this so far and you're like, man, I don't have time to do this or I don't want to learn, then make sure you hire a good sales funnel consultant. Email me, josh at groovymarketing.biz. That's josh at groovymarketing.biz. If you have two things, number one, if you've signed up for ClickFunnels uh, using my affiliate link so that I can send you bonuses. I, yes, I really do answer that email. It's my personal email address. Um, but two, if you need help building a sales funnel, I have a menu uh, of services that I can provide. Me and my team are on standby to help folks build sales funnels and businesses all the time. So uh, you can visit groovymarketing.biz or salesfunnelmadness.com. So, but that's what building a list, can, it, it, you have to have conversion assets or uh, lead generation assets built so uh, in, your, in your traffic streams uh, so that you can get the job done. Okay, last little bit of our framework for sales funnels. ABC, remember, attract traffic, build the list, convert sales. Um, to convert sales, there's different ways to do that. Um, you'll never be in person because what's happening when you convert sales is you, you've got to have, in the, in the mind of the prospect, in the mind of your lead, uh, they have a reality and depending on what industry you're in most of the time they think that you and all of your competitors are the same you're just a commodity to them and so you've got to help them understand that a you're trustworthy and b you're an authority um, and maybe even c that you're unique and you're a pr your premium service and product so there's no other platform you know better than one-on-one -on -one in person but that's not scalable. You can't really hit enough people, um, maybe, maybe not, but it's harder to scale one-to-one. -one. So, you know, you might do live seminars. Maybe that's your cup of tea. Well, do live seminars. That's what you need to be doing. Teach live classes in your community, in other communities, in other cities around the world, whatever, whatever it takes, right? But if you wanna do something more scalable, then sell to many at one time and webinars are the way to go. Webinars are not dead. 
uh, you simply have to make sure that you have a high converting webinar and sometimes it takes more than one shot wonders to get a webinar that works. If you listen to Russell Brunson talk about um, the, the Funnel Hacks webinar that he did, he did it I think a hundred times before he, he automated it. Um, he did it live 100 times before he felt really good about his script. And that's a, that's a thing that um, a lot of people take for granted. And a lot of people try a webinar once and then it doesn't work or maybe it works a little bit and then they just throw the baby out with the bathwater. So I would encourage you not to do that. And I would encourage you to look around this video. I'm going to provide a link to Russell Brunson's perfect webinar script. I use it on all my webinars. I've converted up to 60% uh, of the attendees before uh, on, on using Russell's script. It's an amazing webinar script. You should use it. It's going to work. You'll have to hammer out the dents a little bit, make it your own, but it's fantastic. Um, email marketing, you know, if you have a low price, low enough priced product, you can sell stuff to your email list just straight up. You got to have a good sales page. Again, I use ClickFunnels to build all my sales pages. I don't know about you, but you totally should consider it. 14-day um, free trial, you can't lose. Um, I give you all these pre-made sales funnel templates too. Because ClickFunnels allows you to uh, import other people's sales funnels uh, through a share link. So I have a ton. I have hundreds in my account, but I offer 23 bonus funnels that are already made so to catch, you know, help you save time, if you will. Uh, and many of those funnels include killer sales page formats that you can um, plug and play with. But having a killer sales funnel and email marketing is a great way to convert sales, especially if you're selling like a seven to $99 product and you have an email list that trusts you or that you've provided a ton of value to. It's a good idea um, to use email marketing still but you've got to be careful with it. It's kind of like what Gary Vaynerchuk says. I think it's jab, 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 right hook. Uh, with email marketing, it's more like jab, 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 right hook. But it can still work. Facebook Messenger, fantastic opportunity for you to be more intimate and personal. Maybe not even the bots, but literally live messenger conversations with your prospects. Um, there's a lot of trust already on Facebook, especially after you get someone to approve your friend request. So it's fantastic opportunities for you to convert sales there or just get them on a one-on-one -on -one phone call. One of my businesses is built around one-on-one -on -one sales phone calls and it works because it gives you the opportunity to explain in depth um, and also to empathize with the bleeding neck pain of your prospect, your, your potential customer. And if they know that you know what they feel, and if they know that you know what you're talking about, and if they know that you have a solution that you're offering to get rid of the pain that they feel, then you have a high likelihood of converting them into a customer who will be happy that they found you or that you found them. So that's what convert sales is all about. So again, attract traffic, build the list, convert sales, that's the way you go about putting together a fantastic sales funnel. Hope this has been helpful. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, give me a thumbs up on this video if it was helpful. And make sure you check out the links in the description or on my blog, wherever you might find me, groovymarketing.biz, salesfunnelmadness.com, or just email, email me straight up with questions or uh, if you need help building a sales funnel or if you want your bonuses for ClickFunnels uh, account, josh at groovymarketing.biz and salesfunnelmadness.com, groovymarketing.biz, and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thanks.